Hey everybody, I'm very excited to be here today at San Francisco with a very special guest, James Tamplin. James is the co-founder of Firebase and now works as a product manager at Google San Francisco. Hey James, how are you? I'm doing well, thank you for having me. Firebase has gained a lot of traction all over the globe after its launch and many developers in India as well are adopting it. While there are developers who are still getting started with it, so what are your recommendations for our this Indian developers? So for our developers in India, I'd recommend checking out two products, uh, specifically ones that help with poor connectivity. The first is the real-time database, uh, which has something called offline mode. Uh, so when your application data uh, is stored, it's on a local cache. Uh, actually on the phone. So for iOS and Android applications, when you lose connectivity, they still remain responsive. We know web developers want this too, so stay tuned. Uh, the second is Firebase Cloud Messaging. And so we have great deliverability and open statistics uh, so that you can actually tell when your developers are, are getting their messages. So those would be the products I'd recommend. And so you can check out firebase.google.com slash alpha uh, and sign up for our alpha program and, uh, and get access to the latest and the greatest that, that we'll be releasing shortly. There has been a discussion since quite some time of using Firebase Cloud Messaging over Google Cloud Messaging. So can you highlight few advantage if they are using FCM, or migrating over to FCM from GCM? Yeah, so FCM is kind of the next version of GCM and it has some great new features to come along with that. Uh, so first of all is platform support for iOS and the web. Uh, second of all is we have a great new console. Uh, so not only can you send notifications from your code, uh, but you can actually go into our console and you can uh, schedule notifications, or you can send campaigns based on uh, data inside Google Analytics for Firebase. And so you, you can essentially uh, think of, of FCM as uh, the next version of GCM and should definitely upgrade to take advantage of all those great new features. So we have seen Firebase evolved a lot since it was launched and a lot of features got added to Firebase. So what, where do you see Firebase going next? So the future for Firebase is looking bright. We're gonna continue to make lives easier for developers. Uh, we'll be doing this in a few ways. Uh, first of all, we're gonna continue to bring the best of Google into the Firebase SDKs. Uh, so taking features from Google Cloud Platform uh, pulling more of them into Firebase, uh, working more closely with uh, you know, AdWords, AdMob, and the analytics team. Um, and then I think the second thing we're, we'll be doing is really focusing on uh, bringing machine learning and artificial intelligence into Firebase. So uh, providing developers with uh, recommendations uh, and uh, helping them do, do the things that they need to do to grow their business uh, using ML. One uh, interesting question that I have, and I believe a lot of our Indian developers also have, Google recently acquired Fabric. So what's going on with Fabric? So it's been great to have Fabric on the team. They joined in January. Uh, we announced last week at Google I.O. two big things. First of all is Firebase authentication is the next evolution of digits. So we're taking digits, which is Fabric's phone number authentication solution, uh, make it first class citizen inside Firebase authentication. The second thing that we announced is that Crashlytics, which is Fabric's crash reporting tool, is going to be the default tool inside Firebase. So we'll be moving it over to become Firebase Crashlytics. Okay. And so, you know, with digits and Crashlytics coming into Firebase, you can kind of get a, a sense for, for where we're going with uh, the Fabric and Firebase integration. Thanks for all those answers, James. And the last question that I have for the day is, a lot of developers in India are either getting started with Firebase or already developing with Firebase. So what are a few great resources where our developers can go and learn more? So I'd recommend starting with our documentation, firebase.google.com slash docs. I check out the rest of our online presence, uh, especially Stack Overflow for technical questions, and our YouTube channel, which has a lot of great content. Uh, and then finally, we'll be in India uh, throughout the rest of this year. Uh, so there's uh, the Firebase App Roadshow, which is uh, in four events starting in New Delhi in June. Uh, and then we have Solve for India, uh, which is gonna be in 13 cities throughout the rest of the year. Thanks, James, for taking all the time and answering our, all of our questions. We are very thankful to you for that. Of course. And you heard him and the resources that he mentioned. Do check it out. And if you are interested in attending any of the Solve for India events, Definitely check out bit.ly slash solve for India. Till then, bye. Bye. bye.